Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to stamp a driveway. And uh, the way to do it, I'm going to show you on the sample board. But what you do is you need some polymer modified stampable concrete. It usually comes in bags of concrete and then you get the polymer with it. And you'll mix it up uh, however the bag says to. Uh, once you get your uh, bucket made up, you're going to spread it out a quarter of an inch. A good way to get it, because you want a nice consistent quarter inch so that it takes a stamp properly and most stamps are going to be quarter inch. The way I get the consistency is with a gauged rake. You can set it for whatever depth you want. So you'll set it at a quarter inch and then just uh, just get it all evened out at right at a quarter inch. Once you've got a nice little 25, 50 square foot area, uh, then you're going to want to take your stamp. You're going to spray on some bubble gum liquid release so that it doesn't stick to your concrete. So uh, whatever kind of release, but you're gonna want a releasing agent sprayed all over your stamp. Then once you have it sprayed, you're gonna put it over the concrete and then, um, and then you're gonna wanna stamp it down. It, it, it stamps the impression into the concrete. I use a little metal stamper and I just pound away on it. And then uh, and once, once I have the whole stamp pounded, you lift it up and it's going to impress whatever stamp you have, that impression into the concrete. Then you're going to let the concrete set up and you're going to use a stain. I usually stain all my stuff with a garden sprayer, uh, a poly stain. Just make my own stain or you can order a stain and then you'll, you'll sp spray the top of your overlay and that's what's going to give it the color and antique it and make it look realistic. But once your uh, colorant's dried up, you're going to want to seal it up. If you're doing it over the driveway, you're going to want to use a urethane sealer, a two-component urethane. That way it's uh, heat resistant, oil resistant, and it, it's just the way to go. If you're going to be on a front porch or, or somewhere where there's not car traffic, then you can go ahead and use a solvented acrylic sealer or some other type of sealer. But I always seal everything I do, and, and that's how you're going to stamp. Some stamps are easier than others. Uh, the, you know, There's Italian slate seamless stamps that go pretty easy. Uh, these ones are a little more difficult because you got to line them up and sometimes it squishes out concrete. So you just got to make sure you're at a quarter inch and take your time with it. Don't get too far ahead of yourself or the concrete can harden up too quick and won't take the stamp. So just work your area and then just keep moving. 